Hi, it's Michelle Einstein, Songbird Song. Look at a picture of Josh Groban, the original Jesus Christ, and Mary Magdalene, his wife. There he is, Jesus, and Mary. All right, so I'm going to um, tell you what happened. Um, I heard in my head, I think that's, uh, what is that, paracognition? Oh, uh, what is that? Uh, Clear sentience. One, one of those paranormal states of mind where I heard in my head, Michelle Birdsong. It was Josh Groban's voice. He, he always says that, uh, Michelle Birdsong. And he said, get back to me. So I went to YouTube to the video of him singing America the Beautiful. I heard a Mary Ka. That was my gift, hearing that he sang my name, Mary, a Mary A uh, Mary Ka. A uh, Mary Conscious First True Love. Okay, Ma Mary's Conscious of Her First True Love, and that's Josh Groban, Jesus Christ. She's Mary Magdalene. Understand? I think I should go through this first. Uh, who invented feelings? That's the question I ask. And then uh, Wikipedia or Google, somebody said, the word emotion was coined in the early 1800s by Thomas Brown, and it is around the 1830s that the modern concept of emotion uh, was entered into the English language. So let's uh, let's see what the message is. E for Eve, M for Mother, O for Av, T for the Earth, Pleasuring, Ordering, Entering. So, emotion is Eve, mother of the earth, pleasuring the order, enter the ring. On the double cross is the ear ring. That's the sound in your ear. And let's decode that. A is the first letter of the alphabet, the first sound ordered under unnamed okay so the sound that you hear is unnamed until they started calling it emotions and giving the different emotions like anger and joy and all that names okay now the puzzle messages these are puzzle. These are messages given in puzzle form. Are often confirmations. All right. So was I clear about this to you? Eve, the mother of the earth, pleasuring, ordering, entering the ring. Oh, you can think. Uh, the earth ring, the circus ring, the wedding ring. Yeah, that's what it is, a wedding ring. I have Josh Groban's ring. David Harbines gave it to me. Sometimes I don't have it on, and Josh Groban says, Michelle Bird's on. And I say, what? He said, put it on my ring. So I put it on the ring, and something special happens. Okay, so then... Once I got to back to America the Beautiful, 
I heard Michelle Bird's song. I'll read this again to refresh our memory because I've been all over the place. I heard Michelle Bird's song, Josh's voice, his words, saying, Get back to me. So I went to YouTube uh, to the video where he's singing America the Beautiful. And uh, I heard a merry car. That was my gift hearing. That was my gift of obeying him and getting back to him. And my gift was hearing that he's been uh, saying my name when he says America. He's saying America. Uh, and car is conscious of a first true love. And for me, I'm his first true love. And for him, he's my first true love. Okay, so do we do this one already? From C, C is the eye, the eye can see. From C to shining C. That's in the song. From C to shining C. And then from, means from I to shining I. Eye to eye. When he looks at the camera's eye, my my uh, eyes see his. We have eye contact over the air, wireless. You see. So Josh being interviewed. This is another story. So the shining sea, from sea to shining sea, you're talking about eyes, all right? The water, the white shines in the eyes, okay? All right, now on to the next thing. Josh being interviewed by Ben Foles on his podcast called Lightning Box. Ben says to Josh, I want to do something I don't do with my other guests. I want to go straight to your childhood. Funny he should mention that. Now, my childhood, says Michelle, Mary Magdalene, we'd wash out old mayonnaise jars or pickle jars and punch holes in the tops with a hammer and a nail to make air holes for the lightning bugs we used to catch flying by and put them in the jar. Okay? You understand it's the same word, lightning bugs, that Ben Fo used. Now, my father, Guru Charan Singh, told me when I was in India, there's no such thing as a coincidence. Okay. So the fact that he used the word lightning bugs with Josh Grove and Jesus Christ, my own true love, is not a coincidence. Okay. And so, um, Don McLean called me, you know, American Pie, bye, bye, Miss American Pie, drove my Chevy to the levee, but the levee was dry. Good old boys drinking whiskey and rye, saying this'll be the day that I die, this'll be the day that I die. So what they're saying when they say die is, this will be the day they have an orgasm. An orgasm is called the tiny death. Okay, so they got drunk. Now they're going to try to get laid, as they say. That's what that's talking about. Okay, so, so Don McLean calls me up. And he said, my name was Lester Barker, your friend growing up in Clarksville, Tennessee. I'm going to make you rich and famous. Because artists are using the contents of your life to write about to make themselves get rich and famous. And you remain poor and unknown as you struggle through life. It's not fair. See what he's saying? Just like Ben Foe used uh, my uh, activity with the lightning bugs as the name of his podcast where he interviews all these rich and famous artists 
and his rich and famous, I presume, and I get nothing out of it. I said, that's what Don McLean is talking about. Ben Foles is not the only one. But anyway, let's go on. My mama used to say, just keep living. When we would ha have a discussion and I, would, I wouldn't get her point, she said, like, just keep living. And then she also used to warn against half-assing it, meaning not doing something wholeheartedly. Now, both of these phrases Matthew McConaughey uses in his book, Green Lights. Right? Now, I happen to love the book. Where is it? Here it is, the Green Lights. You see, on the cover he says, just keep living. See, that's what my mother used to say. And in um, side the book, his uh, father, he told his father he wanted to be an actor. He wanted to go to film school, so the father said, well, don't have acid. I said, and this is a coincidence, because that's what my mother used to talk about, don't have ass, you know. So, I like this book a lot. This guy has really got a lot of balls and a lot of unique stories in here. But he did use my mother's uh, words. And that, I suppose, is because my brain is a universe. And these words are in the universe. So they just reach up and pull the phrases and the words and the poems and uh, things from the air because they're up in the air. They're things I haven't gotten to yet to solidify into something tangible. So they do it before I can do it. Now I'm not suggesting they know what they're doing. I'm just telling you what they're doing. That's why I pay to know what you're doing. What does Socrates say? Know thyself. Very, very important. Know what you're doing. Okay, so that's it. Thanks for listening. I hope you are as amazed as I am. <laughs> okay. <laughs>